Welcome back to How to Grow as a Christian, where we come closer to God in the name of Jesus Christ. And with us is a true spiritual leader, the man closest to God of anyone who I know, Reverend Jimmy Ray. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you once again for having me, Daniel. You can shake my hand if you want. <laughs> well, viewers out there, Daniel is doing wonderful. I'm so proud of you, Daniel. You came to Christ. You were once an atheist. Didn't even believe in God. Well, now, I, I always knew that God was real, but I was denying him. And when I finally opened my heart and invited Jesus in, then he, then I, I could see what I was denying. Well, Christ is the light of the world, Daniel. You were in darkness, now you're in light. And I've been praying for you, and that's what happened. The so, Lord opened your eyes. So what are, what are we learning about today, Reverend? Well, today, Daniel, like your viewers out there in TV land or computer land and yourself, to understand that there's a thing called eternal life. The Gospel of John, chapter 3, 16. He that believeth in me shall have eternal life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ your Lord. Do you know what eternal life is, Daniel? Well, it sounds like, isn't it just what it, what it says? Eternal life? Eternal means forever. Yeah. Yes. As a Christian, you're never going to die. Your soul is going to live forever. It's all in the Bible. It's all right f there for us to read. Wow. Are you telling me that I don't have to die? Well, dang, are you going to die physically? This body of flesh and blood, mine too, <laughs> we're going to die. But spiritually, our soul will live forever. Wow. Because I don't like death, but you're saying in heaven... Mm -hmm. I can live with Jesus forever. It's in the Bible. In fact, there's a thing called the rapture. May I read a script to you, Daniel? Of course, Reverend. Now, remember we talked about reading the Bible, and all you viewers out there, if you're Christians, read God's Word every day. It gives you life. Because man don't live by just regular bread, but by every word from the Bible. So, there's a scripture over here, and I like to share this with people. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, or chapter 4, look what it says, Daniel. For the Lord himself, Jesus. Yeah. Remember, he's in the heart right now. Right, yeah. And he's up in heaven too. He himself will descend from heaven with a shout. Wow. He's going to shout. And with the voice of the archangel. Pretty fascinating stuff. Yeah. And with the trumpet. So there's a voice. There's a shout. And a trumpet. We're going to hear it. And you know what's going to happen? The dead in Christ will rise first. All them there people that were Christians who died in the graves, like your grandma and my pawpaw in the grave. Yeah. They're going to come out like zombies. But they're going to rise up and go to heaven. Wow. They'll rise first. Then we, who are alive and remain, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. We're going to fly up to heaven. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Now, i got another scripture for you real quick, and then we'll talk about heaven real quick. Jesus said, do not let your heart be troubled. Yeah. Do you ever feel troubled, Daniel? Sometimes. Well, Jesus said, don't let your heart be troubled. You know why? Why? Because we're going to go to glory land. When we die, we're going to be living with Jesus forever in heaven. Wow. Now, here's what it said. Jesus said, don't be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Daniel, you made a confession of faith. You believe in Jesus, right? Of course. Okay. In my father's house. You know who that is? Yeah, that's God. Our heavenly daddy. Right. In our father's house are many dwelling places. You know what that is? It's... More houses. Well, yes, Daniel. We're going to have homes and mansions and houses in the clouds. And we're going to live there forever. It's going to be so wonderful. Wow. If it were not so, I would have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. He's preparing a house. He's building a house. Now, I, I don't know. If I want brick or wood, I'd like a brick house. How about you, Daniel? Well... 
I'll, I'll take anything. I mean, it would be just wonderful to live with Jesus in heaven. Because right now, right now he's in my heart. But yes. in heaven he will be yes. everywhere. In fact, the Bible clearly says we're going to be active in heaven for eternity. You know, it just, this sort of thing just makes me think about people like, uh, like Carl Sagan, who try to, uh, try to distract yeah. us. But really, what, what does the, uh, the wonders of nature have on, on what you just told me? Well, this book right here far surpasses Carl Sagan. What's his name? Sagan. 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 It far surpasses it. This is truth, God's word. Yeah. Now Carl Sagan doesn't didn't know Christ Jesus like you and I do. Right. So just be prepared to live in a mansion and to sing praises to Jesus twenty four seven. Isn't that exciting? That's that's what we do in heaven. Well, the Bible says we're going to take our crowns that we get our reward for enduring this miserable life here. When we go to heaven, we're going to cast our crown at the feet of Jesus and we're going to sing, worthy is the lamb, worthy is the lamb that was slain for our sins. And we're going to sing, glory be to God, all day long, forever and ever. Oh so I hope gosh. you like to sing, Daniel. That just, that sounds wonderful. So yes. let, let me review. So yes. the, the body dies. Yes. And then, but the soul is still alive and it goes to heaven yes and uh, we get we get a house we get a, a dwelling place from the 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 heavenly father yes in heaven and then we praise jesus forever yes yes that's it daniel you got it it's all right there in the bible take that word of god by faith and it gives you something to look forward to wow so when you have a hard day you think about heaven. You think about the glories of being a Christian and going up there and living in the clouds forever and ever. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I had no idea I, I, there were so many benefits to being oh. a Christian because when, when we started, you know, I thought it was just Jesus comes into my heart, but there's oh. so much more. Oh, so much more, Daniel. You're just beginning to live this life of fullness in Jesus Christ. And what we got to do now we got to learn how to reach them that are atheists. Remember, you were one of them guys. Yeah. And all those friends of yours, those scientists, those smart guys that say they're scientists and they don't believe in God, we got to start praying for them. And maybe you can lead them to Christ so yeah. they can go to heaven. Well, uh, prayer can be very effective. So, I mean, maybe that will work. Maybe, well, we just need... Uh, the faith of a mustard seed, right? You've been reading your Bible? I'm yes. so proud of you, Daniel. Reading the Bible. Well, thank you so much, Reverend. And yes. uh, I hope you'll continue to join us as we grow as Christians. Thank you and praise Jesus. Praise Jesus.